Hey guys, Mr. Popsit here. This is a um, hydronitis superativa patient, and we talk about hydronitis quite a bit. And some people have very severe disease, some people have mild to moderate. This would be more of a mild to moderate, but you can see the tendency for these blackheads and clogged pores to form. When they get clogged up, that's when oil and sometimes bacteria gets in there. So doing some extractions here and just unclogging these pores kind of helps oil flow a little bit better and is a, a lot better off for big abscesses and keeping those controlled. Um, we just go through and kind of open the pore, a little squeeze. These, these aren't real big blackheads, but there's quite a few of them. So we're going to get those cleared out, and that way we can kind of keep that hydronitis controlled a little bit better for her. <laughs> All right, guys, Mr. Pops it here. We have her prepped and ready, and we're going to do some of these extractions for the hydronitis. We're going to come right across, and these are just little tiny pockets. You're going to see a lot of like ingrown hairs. You're going to see keratin. So this is dead skin and oil. Under the arms and under the breasts, you'll see kind of this kind of buildup. It's a place that, you know, there's dead skin and oil there more than a lot of other areas sometimes. So we'll see some of these with the dark hairs in there. And this occlusion of the pore is what can be a precursor to a big inflammatory nodule. So it's good to get these unclogged. Sometimes we can prevent inflammation that way. Big plug there. Hopefully not too painful, it shouldn't be bad. It's just a dry plug. That's good, let's get this one over here. Very good. It's like three in a row right here. Gonna feel lighter. <laughs> that one's pretty clear, actually. That one, you can see these dark ones have the hairs down in there. A little pressure, sorry, that one might be tender a little bit. Got him. That was quite a few. There's a hair right in that one there, too, you can see. Okay. Coming right across here. Too much pressure, you just let me know, okay? That one looks like, they look like little shrimps sometimes. <laughs> let it pop out of there. Get some new tips. of plugs. Feel that one pop. <laughs> Sometimes there's quite a bit of pressure under them. And over here, there we go. Very good. You can just see the difference when you pull the skin here. Looks so much better. Those bumps are all gone. One right at the very top here. Just a little plug. Good. Okay, now we're gonna come over on that side right there. Doing great. A little pressure. So two for one there. Kind of came out of both pockets. It's a dry one there as well. Roll all these out. Good. Not too painful, right? You okay? Good. Very good. A couple more right there. It's a good plug. a big plug there with another hair you can see. So 
Those are good to get out. Just wipe that and see what we got. We're almost done. A nice quick 40 or 50 plugs. <laughs> That's gonna feel a lot better. Let's see, let me pull that skin tight. Another one right there. Just a little. Good. Okay, let me just see with a Q-tip on that last one. That's about it. So you can do the topical. We talked about the clindamycin. has a little alcohol in it afterwards, you know, today and tomorrow. Kind of just helps dry and tighten these things up here. Just checking these pores to make sure they're clear. Looks like it. I always come back and recheck. A lot of people say that. That pour wasn't clear. <laughs> That's another thing they like to say. It's kind of funny. Good one. Okay. So I think maybe one more right there. I always find one more. Yeah, that one we got. That's good. I think we all know when you say one more. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> That's so true. When people say that, here's a good one there. Sorry, it's a little pressure on that one. I don't know. I never I never am done when I say I'm done. <laughs> I'm always pulling the skin. But you look good there. I think we're done now. Um, we got all those. That's going to kind of feel a lot better. And hopefully we stop some of those from becoming big inflammatory nodules. So that was it. Just quick extraction. It takes just like, you know, three to four minutes. Um, actually, maybe ten. <laughs> Uh, but we'll have her back, actually. We kind of watch her closely. If we can stay on top of those, under the armpits, under the breasts, um, anywhere that, you know, you get this accumulation where there's hair follicles, you're getting a lot more sebum production. Um, and where there's folds as well, there's more oil, kind of sweat, and dead skin accumulates there from rubbing, and it just gets ground right into the pores. So thanks again for popping by, and that's it. Hey, guys, Mr. Popsit here. If you like what you just saw, make sure to pop all the buttons. See you soon.